member for Griffith. The member for Blackson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Since the last election, the cost of the Prime Minister's second-rate copper NBN has nearly doubled, from $29.5 billion to $56 billion. The time to build the Prime Minister's second-rate copper NBN has more than doubled, from 2016 to 2020. And the cost of repairing the copper that makes the Prime Minister's second-rate copper NBN has blown out by more than 1,000 per cent. Good. Given he couldn't deliver on the NBN and can't deliver an economic plan, isn't it clear that all this Prime Minister the is capable of delivering is chaos? Is Minister for the Environment. The Prime Minister has the call. Mr Speaker, I'll ask the Minister for Major Projects to address this in a moment, but i just remind the honourable member, my, on my, my former sparring partner, that since the election, Members since on the, my election left. the number of premises that are serviceable by the NBN has increased by tenfold. <laughs> tenfold. By the end of this financial year, the NBN will have upgraded and have services available to one in four premises in Australia. By June 2018, it will be three in four premises in Australia. Leader of the opposition. The changes to the rollout will see the project finished six to eight years sooner and at around $30 billion less cost. The, the honourable member's project was a failure. The coalition, this government, has rescued it. I would ask the honourable minister. The Minister for Major Projects, Territories and Local Government, members, members on my left, will, Member well, for Chifley is warned. The uh, Minister thank has you, the call. Mr Speaker, and thank you, Prime Minister. I'm, I'm pleased to uh, expand on these themes because <coughs> the Shadow Minister seems determined to keep banging his head against a brick wall when the NBN is delivering. The NBN is delivering after what we saw under Labor was six the years the in which they managed to pass they managed to deliver a network which could serve barely 300,000 premises after six years. After two and a half years, the Turnbull government has delivered an NBN where 1.775 million premises can be served. Fibre to the node is being rolled out at the rate of 10,000 premises a week, and by the end of the year it will, ra it will rise to 25,000 premises a week. So you judge a company, you judge a company and its performance on the basis of the capability of the people who run it. A board chaired by Dr. Ziggy Switzkowski, a CEO Bill Morrow with global experience. None of that experience was present in NBN Co when we came to government. You judge a company on its performance against its publicly stated targets. Is it doing what it tells the world it is going to do? And the answer is yes, it is. This company has met its targets for the last six quarters in a row, quarter after quarter of consistent performance, as compared to the chaotic mess we saw under Labor, where target after target repeatedly failed to be met. This is a company delivering. The NBN is getting rolled out. The Turnbull government is delivering for the people of Australia because on this side we're about delivery, the other side are hopeless dreamers.